Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Amy, your MC for this section. Um, please welcome our first speaker this morning, Milena Tap, from Novi Sad, Serbia, a city she proudly calls the most beautiful city in the world. She stumbled upon WordPress in 2009, finding its simplicity unmatched. While she may not claim um, expertise, her daily use and exploration of WPCLI have been a constant learning journey. Today, she will share insights and blending PHP and WPCLI knowledge to save time and bring joy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Milena Tsepp. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I didn't expect this, uh, the second day of WordCamp, first talk. Um, and thank you so much for saying my name, as it is, as it should be said. Um, so today, I, first I want to uh, see who I'm dealing with. How many of you are PHP developers? Awesome. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> I know this guy. He's not a PHP developer. <laughs> but thank you for support. We need them more. Um, and how many of you are using WPCLI? Awesome. Have you used it in combined? Oh, this is great. So we are going to learn something new. OK. Um, so let me take you to a magic world. <laughs> it's not a magic, it's just a website. Uh, it's yet another WordPress website, so you see, um, nothing special here. What, I, what, what is special here is I prepared some users. And we have four users here. Uh, we will focus on something specifically a bit later in a moment. And uh, Listing users, so WP user list is in PHP equivalent to get users, right? So if you, I'm going to make this small. If you don't want to type uh, WP user list, I don't know why wouldn't you want, but if you don't want to do it, if you are used to on PHP, what you can do is WP eval and then uh, execute arbitrary PHP code. So if we say get users here, we will have an error, or we will have nothing, okay. But uh, that is because uh, get users is returning an array of objects, and eval just, you know, returns a string or a value, something like that. So we can say wp eval, and then perhaps print r, and get users, another one, this is a bit tricky in terminal. Okay, so now we have an array of user objects. And this is like, hmm, not, it can be useful, but you don't want to type it. So I'm going to open another session. And what else you can do is you can use a shell, and this is PHP shell. So here I can just type get users and I get um, again array of user objects. And this is good, right? Oh, hello. Okay, so let's go back to this one. And I don't need uh, uh, registering date, I don't need row, so I'm going to make this a little bit more useful. I just need uh, ID, user, login, I believe that's how it is, uh, display name and user email. Okay, so now we have a, a better list to see. So what I want you to pay attention to is this word magic. So we have it here for the first user. We have it in uh, user email for the second, the same. Third user is uh, has username magic. And the last user has no magic. It's me. 
and it's just control user. So what if I want to filter users with the word magic somewhere? I can say, um, let's go to documentation and see what I can say. Now, um, WP user list help. You can have all the help you want in terminal and the complete documentation is there. So this is important. Display WordPress users based on all arguments supported by WP user query. So let's go to, there's even a link. And let's go here and see how I can search. Well, there it is. I can search keyword and it will find uh, matches. Uh, if search columns is left, left empty, then it will just search the complete profile. So I can say search. So whatever field you want to search uh, that is column name in database, you can use this like dash dash, uh, the column name and then the value you want to. Uh, find and if I say this I get only one and this is because uh, it, it goes literal so if I want to find all other instances I can use wildcard here like before and after and now I have all four of them now what's happening here it's happening that I have another field here, user URL, and now you see I also have magic. So if I want to do this in PHP, let's go back to shell. Uh, if I want to do this here, I would say get users and uh, then this accepts an array of arguments and I'm going to say search and search query is I'll add a wild card right away. Magic. Oh, what did we do? Yes, I see. Thank you. Um, we didn't close the quote. And that is what's wrong with typing PHP in terminal. <laughs> yeah. So here we have, uh, again, all four of them. Now, what if I want to find only uh, users who have this word in email? So. In this case, it can look like I want to find uh, users who are uh, on management level for this website. So the URL is magic.log and I want to find all the staff. And I could search magic.log, but you saw that uh, the fourth user has it in URL. So it will again show up in search. So I want to search only this one column. I want to search user email. and. If I do it in PHP, as you saw here, I can say search columns and available uh, values are ID, user login, user email, user URL, a nice name and bad name, <laughs> and display name, right? And it's an array. So let's add that. Um, search columns and this is again array and I want to use email. Is it good? Can we run it? Okay. So here, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so here um, I have this one user, author uh, at magic.log and the other user, admin at magic.log, and this is what is returned, right? So with PHP, we can do this. Now let's try to do it with WPCLI. 
search columns oh no it should be like this and user email oh no it doesn't work and this is because wpcli is not ready for array here now let me show you uh, a places where it's ready and how it looks like if you go to wp post update or create and help you will see a number of parameters it's scary but if you scroll down uh, you can update every single column in database and here we have post category and it accepts array of category names, slugs, or IDs. So if I wanted to add update post to category one, two, three, uh, I would add uh, post category one, comma, two, comma, three. So that is an array. And this is how an associated array looks like. It's for meta input. So it's in JSON format. And that's because meta uh, key can be any string and meta value can be any string and this is how it looks like in writing now when you type it in a command so i try this with uh, you know uh, with search columns it doesn't work i tried any kind of formatting that i could find it doesn't work it's just not ready yet so what do we do in this situation well this is when you can actually uh, this is probably situation that I don't want to write a plugin for this like just to export you know a, a few users I don't want to put code in uh, functions PHP and go through all the pipeline you know to push it somewhere I just want to run it once and I cannot do it with WPCLI so we can combine them and make our life easier and fun and we are going to do it right now so uh, the the great thing about uh, wpcli and what i want to uh, replicate here is this is an error okay so if i wanted to export this this would export all the users but let's say i don't file card here and this is just the two users. I can say format CSV and just do this and say users CSV and it's exported. So here we have user CSV, right? And if I open it with, let's say, Sublime. You see, I have, oh, only this one user. That's weird. Never mind. <laughs> but I have it exported, and I can export whatever I want to filter, and that's what I want. I don't want to write a lot of PHP code, and I don't have to. I'm going to show you now. Uh, so I'm going to create a PHP file, and I'm going to call it users. And let's open it. And oh, okay. Let's just call it users. And for now, uh, we can do echo hello for Campasia. Yay! So what do we do now? We say wp eval file users php. Hello! Do you see now what we can do? Oh my god. Okay, let's go back. So, <laughs> I see a lot of people are thinking right in the morning, like it's Saturday and we all know what we are going to do. Okay. So, 
Let's comment this out. And let's say this is var, and I say sorry. If we print it out, Okay, now we have things to work with. Now I have in output uh, what exactly what I want. I have those two users. So what we have to do now is just, you know, pure PHP fun, just export things to CSV. And we are going to do that. Um, so it would be uh, export. CSV with PHP, something like that. And here is, oh, you see it's visited. <laughs> yeah. And the great thing is this first example is working just fine. So we copy it, go back here, and paste. So. Uh, what we need for this is actually three functions. We need um, fput CSV, which will put data into CSV file. But before that, we need to open the file, and after that, we need to close the file. And here, uh, what it accepts, it's list, and that is array of arrays. And we don't need that. We have our own data. However, our own data is array of objects, so we need to work with that as well. Just let me clean this up. Users. As user. And I really don't like this FB. It means nothing in my head. It's going to be file. Now, uh, what we want is this user to be um, array. But first, if we take a look what is returned here, uh, it's an object, and then inside of it, another object, and then uh, you know some values, and then arrays, and we don't want that. So when you do get users, you get return the whole object, and you don't need it. And what we were returning here is, you see this? ID, user login, display name, user email. That's what we want. So first, I want to make sure I'm returning those things. And you can do that with this one, fields and you can choose which ones you want to return. And even if you don't uh, need that at the moment, please do use it. It's performance-wise. You know, you don't need the whole object. Just return what you need. So here, let's clean this up a bit. And I'm a sucker for coding standards, as you can see. Right? OK, so here, after this, I want to return fields. And the fields is also an array. Um, I want ID. I want user login. Uh, what was their display name? And user email. So now I have the. Let me just comment this out. Um, and this, all of it. <laughs> So let me just see what I'm getting with this to make sure. Mm 
that we are getting. There we go. It's an object. And do you see this? I don't know why we get here with objects, we get double ID. And but that's not uh, our problem right now. That's something different. Uh, so let's uncomment this. And you can easily uh, convert object to an array by just casting a type, and now it's an array. Still, you will get the double uh, ID, and if you want, you know, we can convert it, and we will convert it to a proper array. So, I also don't want this to be called uh, file CSV, I want to be called users CSV. And what is W? Um, if we go here to documentation, F open, you have a lot of parameters here that you can use. So uh, W is for uh, just writing, and it will uh, rewrite everything that is already in there. So it will point to the beginning of the file. If you want to keep what you already have there and point to the end of the file, you will use append, which is A. But for now, I, I don't mind having write. And you can also read and write and do all other things. We don't need that right away. I'm sorry, I just cannot look at this without spaces. It's early morning. I cannot pretend I'm normal. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> OK, so this should work, right? I'm going to comment this out. Um, and let's see. Uh, I just want to delete this user CSV. Okay, and let's run it now. Oh, okay. It's there, and I think we have it open here. User CSV. Oh, we did it. But you know what I don't like? I don't like that I have no feedback at all. Like, did it happen? Do I have to open file? And we can make that. So now it's a makeup time. And there is, um, this was unpaid a commercial for <laughs> Insta <laughs> WP. <laughs> OK. So a beautiful thing that. WPCLI has is internal API. And what we want to uh, control now is the output. So we can use WPCLI log to display a nice message like WPCLI is doing. And I'm just going to copy paste. This is all my career, just copy pasting from documentation. It's <laughs> That's why I'm there. So here, I want to say, um, um, something like uh, reading user. And here, we are going to say user, and it's array at this point. So let's say, display name, right? And let's run it again. Oh, there's been critical about, okay. What have I done now? Hold on. Uncaught error, cannot use object of type. Oh. We passed some kind of object somewhere. OK, let's just convert this into, oh, it's only here. OK, if we say user equals 
array user. Now it should be user for everyone. That's what you get when you improvise during talk. Okay, reading user, right. And, oh, okay, thank you, five minutes. Hmm. Um, so what if I want to add some more things, like I want to show a, a table, like uh, WPCLI is showing it here, right? Um, I can, sorry, I can go back to internal APIs and use this one, like format items. And you can use it as a table and JSON and CSV and whatnot. I'm gonna copy it and put it here. So the format is table and items is, let's see, an array of items to output. We, we have an array inside this for each loop of it. We don't have it in, in here. So outside of it, it's still an object. So I'm going to say items. Oh, wow. OK. <laughs> items is an array. And now. Here, items, and let's add that user. And now items is ready, and fields. Fields is actually the table headings. So it's an array of um, just strings to be table headings. And I already have that here, so I'm just going to take this out. And I'm going to call this fields. And up here, fields equals this. And now it should be ready. So if we run it again, oh, this is awesome. So you can do, we don't have enough time, but you can do the same thing with uh, importing. You know, create the same script so you can run it because you only know that it's on server. You can run it whenever you want. It, it's not a plugin. Nobody can mess with it. You don't have to spend a lot of time uh, uh, writing and going through the whole pipeline and everything. It's there. You created it on server. You run it. You exported it. You imported it. And you are so happy. Right. Okay. And. Um, I hope you see uh, the potential in mixing those things. So everything that you cannot do with WPCLI, you can do with PHP and just, you know, mix it up. And uh, my name is Milana Tsap. I'm WordPress engineer and the loudest member of WordPress documentation team. I'm also a classical musician. So if you want to talk about anything of that, you know, we can talk about it. Uh, if you're a company and you have um, your earning uh, from WordPress and you have a budget for open source, please do support Inclusion in Tech. This is initiative to help uh, speakers uh, travel, you know, and, and pay their costs for going to WordCamps and speak. Uh, so if they're underrepresented, time is up, okay. Uh, if, you know, you can help a, a few more voices to show up and talk. And I hope you had fun. I had had fun. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Hannah. Thank you for sharing this magic journey with us. Thank now you. we are open for Q&A. <laughs> what was the, oh, well, good morning. Uh, what was that thing that you wanted to show us? You said you, you, we don't have time, but I wanted, give us, I wanted give to us a homework. A homework, yeah. yeah. Let's do homework. So you create another script like this, but this is not for exporting CSV, but for importing items from the uh, CSV file. So you create users. You can use hint uh, WP create user or WP insert user, whichever you want, but uh, you can create the same script for importing. Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> Did you learn something new today? Thank you. That's what I wanted. If you don't ask me something, I'll start asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you learn? Okay. I have a question for you. Okay. Sure. Okay. How much time of learning WPCLI does it take to start using it? Zero. You can uh, start using just one command and then next week add another two commands and then you will just include more and more commands and you will start com combining it with other CLI tools. Hopefully it's so much fun. Please try it. And then you will start doing things with PHP and everything. So uh, you can start using it right away. You don't need to learn the whole tool. You don't need to learn the whole environment. You can just start using one command or two commands and just keep adding them. Thank you. That's a great question. I actually gave her that question. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, Any I guess. Questions? Yeah. Are there any? Uh, oh, that's loud. Uh, I know. <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> hey. Uh, are there any other languages you can combine with WPCLI in that same way besides PHP? Um, well, I, I don't know if you consider it a language, but you, any CLI tool can be combined with this. And that's the beauty of CLI because they all work together. I haven't tried with anything else. And I, I really doubt, because WPCLI is based on PHP, so, yeah, I, I don't think so. But if you can try for can homework try. Yeah. and just tell me, <laughs> did you make it? Yeah. Maybe we could combine AI with it. Oh, oh. That'd be fun. That would be scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. let's, let's try. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We are rolling. <laughs> um, I guess another approach to do something similar would be to create custom CLI command. But I guess yeah. it takes a bit more time to write. Are there other differences between the two? Or is it just kind of time saving with your approach? Um, well, it depends what you need it for. Like if, if you create another command, I would create it if I knew I would use it, you know, from now on. But if this is just what I use for one site, I'm you know, I, I think it's, you know, what is the value of it and how much time I spend with it. So I would personally just develop custom uh, WPCLI command for everything. But it's not useful, you know, for my time. So uh, you just wage what, what is used for. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you for the talk. Um, I learned quite a bit. Thank you. Uh, just more of a fun question. Do you have any examples of a time where you used it in a, a weird or an interesting or creative way? Oh, <laughs> I cannot show you that. It's client work. Um, I, I use eval uh, command more than I, I like to admit. Uh, I, I use it for, for a lot of things, uh, but mostly uh, when there is uh, what, what was very useful, like um, I'm connecting, you know, doing a third API, a third party API integration, and I need data to be populated only once. So I don't want to, you know, write uh, uh, a lot of code, put it in a plugin or whatever, it doesn't need to be there. So this is the perfect uh, example of that. You know, you develop it in local, just copy paste that script, don't play on production, you know, but just copy paste that script there, run it once, nobody knows you were there. There are logs, but you know, you can delete it. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of uh, here, here. Uh -huh. uh, kind of picking back on on that question. Like, what is your few favorite commands? Like, what is the one that you? It's so good that you are scared of like what it can do. Uh, what it can do? Oh, 
there are many things that, that you can do, a lot of things. Um, I'd say as a developer, my favorite command is scaffold. And I would love to give some of my time to, to invest there, uh, to create a, amazing things. It's already doing amazing things, but we can make it better. Um, but the things that you do with, uh, it's another talk, it's alias talk, you know, you can, uh, in one line, you can export database for external uh, website and import it into internal. It's a great fun to do it, but if you do it, you know, <laughs> on production, it can put it on maintenance mode, and I learned that in client's project, so <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> but uh, th those kind of things can be dangerous depending on um, wh where you're working. I, I'd say everything that you suspect could be dangerous, and anything could be dangerous, because if you have root access, you are the most powerful person on the server, so, you know, <laughs> just be, be aware of that. Uh, so if you are not really sure what it can do, just do it on staging. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Milena. And Thank you. maybe in a stupid question, but can we spam WPCLI uh, by using it in PHP file? Yes. Yeah. Um, can you please explain how is it possible? Uh, to use WPCLI in WPCLI PHP WPCLI in PHP files. Um, yeah, yeah. So let me go back. Um, I'm not going to write code now, but uh, here in internal APIs, what you can do, if we had more time, we could probably uh, do that. But there is a command like here, execution. So you can use this run command, and we could have put in this file, run command and any WPCLI command with all parameters. So you would run WPCLI to run PHP file, which will run WPCLI command. It's amazing. You can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Just for fun, you know. Why not? Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you, yeah. Milena. Thank you. I'm pretty thank sure you. anyone have any more questions, yes. you can definitely Finally. find her yeah. um, in a conference later today. Yes. And thank you again. On behalf of OrCam Asia, we would like to give you a thank you gift. Oh, thank you. This is why. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, take the shoes. Yeah. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you all. Now is a break time. The next pre uh, the next presentation will start soon. <laughs>